Hello humans and otherwise, I am Adesia and welcome back to my blind let's play of uh, Dragon Quest XI. Yeah, while I was uh, preparing to record again, I was I rewatched the uh, intro th intro cutscene, the big opening before the title screen, because the first time I watched it, when I started this let's play, I wasn't really paying too much attention to what was going on. I was just enjoying the spectacle and the music, because I really like the Dragon Quest theme song. <laughs> But I, I watched the movie in more detail, and yeah, that's why I figured that things wouldn't go well with the king, because although I wasn't really paying attention the first time, I did apparently notice that, well, he kind of ends up being a villain. Because they show that. They also show that, well, the guy who's in the cell is one of the party. They show all the party members there, too. So... Okay, we kind of know what's going on there. There's that big floating tree to be a dragon, too. Don't know if that's a symbolism or that's going to be literal. But we're eventually going to find out, of course. But let's continue through these sewers. Light these torches as we go. Can we do that? No? Okay. Door is locked tight. Never heard of a door being locked loose. It's always tight. Can the door breathe, though? Get them! Run! Yeah, they're at, they're actually chasing us. And we do legitimately need to run away. <laughs> well, let's go right there. Disappear! I'm standing right here. Did you see me? Again, dark spawn. This is not Dragon Age Origins. All right, slip that torch out and follow my lead. Hurry! I'm gonna be able to go immediately. There he is. Guards draw near. I like how you can tell how much health they have, though. These hit particularly hard. A oh, good. A level up. Crap for resilience, but uh, it's happened before too. Heal! Oh, skill points! Acquiring new spells and abilities. Character Builder from the Misk menu. Yeah, let's see what we got here. Character Builders where you can use skill points to teach your party members new spells and abilities. Also, improve their attributes. When you unlock a particular panel, once you're ready, it will become available. Ah, cut. But you only get them when you level up. So you gotta. Oops, I didn't mean to leave. Oh well. But yeah, okay, I have to pick and choose. Swords, great swords, sword master. Overall attack powers. Might as well start with luminary abilities, right? That would be useful too. Ah, poof. Now let's see what the abilities are here. Oh! Definitely want Metal Slash. We need Metal Slash. 
Looks like these go together, possibly. Hey, Giga Smash! I think I'm familiar with that ability. Those are, those are abilities from other Dragon Quest games, right? Is it Dragon Quest kind of like Final Fantasy in that way? There's a lot of abilities that are just in each game, period. He has a sword flame slash. Four, six. Okay, we don't have enough ability. We don't have enough for anything else. But it was worth it to get caught there. Follow me. By the time I can move again, though, the guard's already, you know, back over there, so... Let's just wait again. Because the guards did hit kind of hard. Keep up, okay? But at least we're not killing them, we're just knocking them out. Because, yeah, these guards are just doing their job. I wasn't really paying attention to when he ran, but... found us. Those guys again. These guys don't give up, do they? Well, of course not. We must stop this plot from happening! If the main story never occurs, the villain will never appear! Seriously? Yeah! Literally crumbling infrastructure! Okay. Looks like we shook the guards at least. Well, yeah, falling down here would kind of uh, distract the guards. And that looks like a way out. Maybe our luck's about to change. Question marks. I guess we washed up over here because we couldn't have gone straight down. There's clearly just a solid wall above us. No spot where the path could have been or anything. So we probably came from all the way over there and just washed up over here. And there just happens to be a statue right here at this exact point. How convenient. And I noticed that there aren't three save slots. There are nine. I just don't like having to use, uh, occasionally, uh, auto-saves, because if something happens, if something goes wrong with the video, I just gotta do it, you know. I'll have to get back to that point by starting the game over again, and that's a dragon. Uh, yeah. Well, is this the dragon we will get the quest from? This is a dragon quest. We 
Wait, there's something there. Right, could you not see it? So we've tumbled out into a dragon's den. I should wreak havoc on the castle itself, too, with this kind of thing happening. If we stand and fight, we're dead. Let's get the heck out of here. Yeah. You're not fighting a dragon at like level three. Or I think level five he is at this point. Main character. Come on, we need to move. Now! Yeah, I noticed. We're running from a literal dragon! Crash Bandicooting this! No obstacles in the way, though! Well, here goes nothing. I think we gave it the slip. No, not really. Uh, I spoke too soon. If we don't get moving, we're dead meat. Run! What is this, Monster Hunter? It roars and we get stunned? Or Crash Bandicoot! Woo! Are there going to be spots to reach up? Oh, slimes are running too. <laughs> All the enemies are running away from it. Makes sense. All of them know not to screw with a dragon. <laughs> I'll just barreling through everything in the way. Oh, there are obstacles now. Metal slimes. So lantern enemies too. I like to fight some things, but not the best idea. Best plan right now is to run. You should be able to smell them. Dragons aren't dumb. Has it gone? Whew. That was way too close for comfort. What's that thing doing under the castle anyway? Well, whatever. We should get going. I wonder if they even know it's there. But they might. Uh-oh. Yeah. The dragons aren't dumb. It probably knows you're there. Yep, yeah, here comes the fire breath. Run! It's not worried about eating you. It just wants to kill you. Or maybe it's going to cook you now and eat you later. Just, I don't know how much more of this I can take. Huh? Huh? There he is, the dark spawn. <sighs> uh, uh, me and my big mouth. Move now. Uh, the guards aren't even questioning where the fire came from. But they might be aware of the dragon. Might be their castle pet or something. Looks like our luck finally ran out. The guards should be right behind you. Oh, now we're gonna Metal Gear Solid 3 this. There they are. We've got them now. Jump down to that river and deal with the sorrow! Hmm. No way back, huh? If they catch us, we're dead meat. <laughs> Hold! <laughs> Let's do this. I believe in you. I believe in the Luminary. I don't have much choice. Yeah, at this point, <laughs> it's do or die. Come on. Let's not do anything stupid now.
<laughs> saw you in the opening. Oh, hey, Eric. <laughs> Didn't know your name. Yeah, <laughs> that was, and that was the intro, and that was the prologue, and now it's just showing this again. Don't need to watch this again. I already show, I already had that during the intro. Don't need it again. But yeah, that was the prologue. Now we're into the main game, the main story. Come on, up you get. See, when games do that and they have the intro that happens like that, they shouldn't play it during the uh, title sequence. They shouldn't have it there. They should only play it right here during when the game starts like that, after the prologue's over. It would have been more interesting to watch it for the first time there. Finally. I was worried we'd lost you for a minute there. You've been out cold ever since we jumped. I had to drag you all the way here on my own. <sighs> that must have been a pain. Yeah, probably why it said hold to skip, because like you probably already watched this. I'm not gonna make you watch it again. It is a good movie though, I really like it. But what a jump it was. I closed my eyes, put my faith in the luminary, and somehow didn't get smashed into a thousand pieces. Oh, maybe he unexpectedly saved you somehow with his power. In fact, I woke up on the forest floor at the bottom of the cliff without a scratch on me. Amazing what a little faith can do. Anyway... I guess you and me must be at the top of the King of Heliodor's most wanted list by now. Yeah. Which means we can't hang around here too long. Let's go say thanks to the nun who looked after us and be on our way. I was say, it kind of looks like we're at a church or something. You hear his voice echoing, too. We're in a big area, obviously. A hero hounded. Still gonna break your pots, though. Don't care if we're, in liter we're literally in a church. Ah, there you are, my children. I trust that your friend here is fully recovered. Yep, you have the exact voice I thought you would. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's just fine. Hey, thanks for looking out for us. We owe you one. Not at all, dear. I'm just happy to see you both well again. But if you are leaving, you must be careful on the road. It seems some dangerous criminals have escaped from the capital and are at large somewhere in the area. Oh, I shudder to think what wicked deeds they might be capable of. <laughs> You're talking to them. Criminals, you say? Dear me, that doesn't sound good. And you heard this when you were in Heliodor. I did indeed, my child. There were guards everywhere. They are searching high and low for the villains. And I heard that the mighty knight Sir Hendrik himself has headed to the mountains in the south with his troops. They say he means to block the road to Cobblestone, the village the fugitives came from. Mm. Oh, but you must forgive me, poor lambs. I did not mean to alarm you. They will soon be caught, I am sure. Justice will be done. And until then, you are free to remain with us for as long as you please. Thanks. We appreciate that. Um, we're 
going to get a little fresh air. We have a few things to discuss, right? Yeah. Yeah, at least churches are safe havens in Dragon Quest. I don't really remember, out of the games I've played anyway, a story where the church ended up being evil. I mean, there was the thing in Dragon Quest VII, where people were pretending to try to bring back God, but it was actually the, the devil. I never even knew anyone actually lived in those mountains down south. Is that really where you're from? But it wasn't really the church being evil or anything like that. This isn't the Final Fantasy where that happens all the time. <laughs> I'm guessing you want to go see what's happening down there. But you need to be smart. You won't get past Hendrik unnoticed. Yeah. If you're going to make it there without getting caught, you'll need to avoid the main road. And if you want to do that, you'll need my help. I know every back road there is to know in these parts. But I've got things to take care of in Heliodor first. I left a little something in one of my old haunts downtown, and I need to get it back. So you gotta go back in there? So, are you coming along for the ride? I did help you break out of that dungeon, remember? And you did say you basically pledged yourself to help the Luminary. So helping you will help us. So, yeah. That's the spirit. But we can't have you bringing us any unwanted attention. Yeah. Ah, I've got just a thing. So, like, the, the people don't know what he looks like. Here, put this on and keep your face hidden. Otherwise, you're gonna get nabbed as soon as you set foot in Heliodor. Yeah. The guards have seen him. They know what he looks like. That's more like it. If you're gonna be a wanted man, you might as well look the part. Right. Let's head north and hit town. Glad you're coming along. The seer told me to stick with the luminary when I found him, and that's just what I'm going to do. I mean, you've basically already pledged to help the luminary, so... If helping you helps the luminaries, <laughs> all the more reason to help you. A pep power is an incredible ability that can be performed by two or more party members when at least one of them is pepped up. Select the pep power from the menu and it appears and see what exciting abilities you can unleash. Yeah, pep abilities. Pepping up. Is that going to be like a powering up in the previous games? Like in Dragon Quest VIII, you could power up so much you could basically go Super Saiyan. And the main character looking like Goku really made that work. Not you're officially in the party. Yeah, you've got points. You've got four to look at, though. Status ailment stuff. Stealing and such too, huh? Yeah, not have enough points for that. Well, yeah, let's get something that hits the hurt slime. It doesn't say it's metal slimes, it's just regular slimes. It's also a boomerang attack. Eventually, I'm going to learn everything, so... Well, maybe. Depends on how many levels I... Depends on how many levels you need to max everything out. Huh. Is that a blue sparkly AC? It is. Uh, 
characters will attack a lot or undergo a certain number of trials or tribulations will eventually enter an enervated state with stud as being pepped up. So boost our martial might for a while. It can last forever, for several turns has passed to lose their glow and go back to being their normal selves. Any characters who are pepped up in a battle ends will still be so when the next one begins. Yeah, so it's like this for example, it lasts for three turns. And, and if you end it with two turns, if you use one turn on being pepped up, you'll still have two turns left on the next fight if the battle ended with that one turn. Something like that, right? I don't imagine it res the timer resets. But being pepped up is gonna be like trances from Final Fantasy IX. You can't control it. So in that game, it actually had a meter to fill up first. In this game, is just basically random. I mean, not really. It's probably an invisible meter. If there is a meter, you just can't see it. So you have no idea when they're going to pep up. But yeah, I can't actively uh, charge up key energy. Like a Dragon Quest Eight, I think Nine did the same thing. I don't know about 10, that's an MMO, and it never even came to this country in the first place. It's Japanese, so I wouldn't have been able to play it regardless. Welcome to downtown Heliodor, home to rogues, ruffians, and all my other favorite kinds of people. About a year ago, me and Dirk, my partner in crime, managed to uh, acquire one of the royal family's most precious possessions, the Red Orb. You acquired it. By that you mean you stole it. They got wise and pulled me in eventually, but not before we'd stashed it somewhere safe so we could pick it up later. Of course. Right down there is the biggest, stinkingest garbage pile in all of Heliodor. Me and Dirk buried the orb slap bang in the middle of it. After all, no one would ever think of looking for it there. We're criminal geniuses, I tell you. Time to go liberate that loot to the garbage pile. So that's what you're here for, huh? Welcome to downtown Elidor, the grimy little secret the posh folks over the wall don't want you to know about. <laughs> You're eating from around here, eh? Well, if you ain't got a reason to stick around, I wouldn't bother. What's that? You looking for the dump? Well, you're in the right part of town for rubbish. You're going to be a pile of it right in the middle. Yeah, here they go! The kind of thing I liked from uh, previous Dragon Quest games. Bunch of different accents. Go to different places to get out people with, like, punny names, like a thief named Dirk. Is he build a Dirk? Lots of punny names. Well, that's more powerful for you, but... Now, if I recall correctly, boomerangs, like, hit all the enemies at once, or at least groups of enemies. Like, if you got two different kinds of enemies, like a slime and uh, something else, it'll only hit all the one type of enemy. Like, it hit all the slimes, but it won't hit anything else. Or something like that. I don't remember if that's exactly how it works. I know I've played games where that does happen, though. Don't know if it was Dragon Quest or not. So it happens you don't play a game in a franchise for a very long time. I said before I was I played uh I finished eight and nine twice each. I was actually gonna do that for seven as well. But I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I had too many issues as I played through the game the first time. When I started it, just really couldn't bring myself to keep going. Well, there's no way past here. Uh, use the planks in the left. Yeah, I was supposed to go in the garbage, but... but we're gonna run around a bit, do a bit of exploring here. Yeah, I'm not going to explore everything. 
Let's get to a new area. Gotta shake the place down a bit. Well, there is a chest right there. But how do we get there? Like that. Don't know what that is, but we have it now. My, my, I'm not being a big fan of Dragon Quest, but I end up playing it anyway, so I don't know what it is. Something. This is the spot. Keep a lookout, okay? I'm going to grab the loot. Like something about it makes you want to play a Dragon Quest game from time to time, because I was really looking forward to this one. And I did buy it intentionally. It was around here somewhere. I just don't know it's what it here. is. I'm a thousand percent sure. That makes you want to play them sometimes. Uh, it's not here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Me and Dirk were the only ones who knew where it was. Wait a minute. That rat! He must have done the dirty on me and taken it for himself. Damn it! I should have known! A thieving little... Wait till I get my hands on it. I'm gonna find him, and you're gonna help me. Okay, the inn we used to crash at is just over there. Come on, it's the only one with an upstairs. You can't miss it. Okay, so the thief stole something. As you would expect the thief to do. Because that's what thieves do, after all. Armor shop. Yeah. Other hat. Plus three defense. Okay. Yeah. What does the armor on the equipped with actually give me? Okay, just plus four maximum HP. Defense itself would probably be better, but again, the issue is lack of funds. So I'll wait a bit before actually buying anything. Kill stuff, get money that way. I know we've run past where the it is, but or was this it? Yeah, so, yeah. It's the lookout tower. Yeah, that's the end right there. That looks like we need a magic key to get in there or something. Should be able to jump through the window, though. Might be here. A cutscene. Huh. This old place hasn't changed a bit. Back in our thieving days, Dirk and me used to lay low here whenever things got hairy. Ruby, Ruby, you there? It's me, Eric. There's something I need to ask you. Was it the barkeeper, innkeeper? Uh, I can't remember which, uh... Yeah, she ran something. Final Fantasy IX, there was a Ruby who was an ally of Tantalus. I can't remember if it was a... Uh, a bar, or uh, an inn, or was it a theater that she ran? I, I can't quite remember. Ruby, run for 
runs the place. Looks like she's not around, but if anyone knows where Dirk is, it's her. Which means we'll have to go find her. So here's the plan. There's a tower they use to look out for fires. You're going to climb up there and keep an eye out for Ruby. I don't know what she looks I'll like. A couple of other spots. Don't worry, you can't miss her. She's the only redhead in town. Hence the name. Probably named after her hair. Yeah, she's a lot of people with this plain brown hair, the main character, too. Well, the new Eric's got blue hair. So we had to go up to this tower anyway. Like, I, I got basic brown hair myself, just look. <laughs> Get out of here! Go on! Bribe the guard. This way? Sorry, it ain't quite simple at the mo. Someone's pinched at the planks again. They're repaired eventually. It'll take a little while, I reckon. Now, let me go up. I'm like, you can go there eventually. You gotta progress the plot enough first, though. One of those. Uh, can't find Ruby anywhere. How about you? Any luck? I guess you just missed the cutscene. You saw her heading back to the inn? Great! Let's sit over there and find out what she knows. Let's know there's a guard who's afraid of dogs. You in particular. I'm not getting through here, so clear off, will you? You're afraid of dogs, and you can be bribed, too. Yes, pretty big too. Don't worry, I won't be here long. I just need to know where Dirk is. Have you seen him? Dirk, eh? Now there's a name I ain't heard in a while. Didn't he open some fancy shop up by the castle? Yeah, that was it. Raking in the cash he is, or so they say. That can't be right. The rent up there is crazy. Where did he find the money? He sold the orb. Wait a second. He sold it, didn't he? The rat sold the damned orb. Look, in this part of town, you don't go asking too many questions. You know that. If you want more, you'll have to get it from the horse's mouth. You're right. Thanks, Ruby. I appreciate it. We'll get out of your hair. That 
No good traitor. I'll bet he sold me out and sold the ore. And all so he could move up in the world. Well, I'll get what I'm owed. You'll see. <sighs> but we'll need to get past that sentry if we're gonna head uptown and find him. Wait, isn't he... Yeah. I remember hearing that one of the guards is terrified of dogs. I think it was him. Maybe we can borrow one of somebody. Let's borrow a dog. Well, there's that dog right there. I think that was the dog that scared the guard in the first place anyway. Hey, <laughs> nice one, Bullseye. That great big coward of a guard and he'll be weed himself when he saw you. Yeah, it is this dog. What you think you're staring at, eh? Get lost. You what? You want to borrow me, dog? You having a giraffe, ain't ya? Look, I ain't got time for this. Go on. Slinger hook. Slinger hook. It's gonna be hard to read this, but I like it when Dragon Quest does this. Bullseye ears, a lone wolf like me. You don't take kindly to strangers. Ah, you know what? Some oil water and a buzz barrier or two might change his mind. What are you gawping at me like that for? I ain't like I'm asking much. Let's go and shake the tree and grab some berries, eh? Go to town, put on the walkway thing, and straight on. Big tree, funny berries on it. Bosh. As for oil water, well, that's easy. Buy it from a shop. Remember, I didn't say oil water or buzz berries. I want both. Otherwise, no deal. Well, I think I've already got the berries. I did shake that tree. Yeah, but... Okay, I can sell that. So I need an item shop. Wasn't there an item shop around here somewhere? Here's the armor shop. Can I check on the map? Yes, I can. And I see a spot like this. I can't quite get up my first thought is I can go underneath it and use a set. But wrong game. I'm so used to playing Zelda. Right, 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 right past it. You're busy looking around at other things. Looking at all that. <laughs> you stuck me not me much to look at. <laughs> That's quality that counts. Okay. Yeah, don't, don't need to collect lots of plain clothes. We sold for a few gold coins. Okay, that, those are just items that are purely for cash. Holy water! This one. Item bag. Okay, did she say three buzzberries? I think it was three. Jump pretty darn high. Either he's like super strong or there's not much gravity in this world. I'm getting stuck now. This is not really a side quest, this is part of the main story. In order to find out what I need, I gotta talk to her again. A buzzberry or two. Ah, I do have it. Okay. But we're not going to give it to her right now. Instead, we're going to stop right here. Because it's been long enough for sure. So, I'm going to just go save it right now. But until next time, thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next... What? Oh, it's night time? Well, okay. Time changed on me. <laughs> well, like I was saying, uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.
If you enjoyed my video, please give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And if for whatever reason you want to talk to me, you can find me on Discord in the link in the description.